Okay, so welcome back again. So this next part, we want to have this uh, a circle here. We have this 50% off in here. And then we want to animate this to go up like that. And then we have this text coming in. And we have the save to come in here. So let's do that. So here is the playhead. What we want to do is to add some more tracks. So let's right click in here, insert track. And this time we already have seven tracks there. We want to add another five more tracks there. And now this is what we have now. And now um, the next thing is to create this uh, circle here. So let's create it with a, a solid color clip. So let's uh, right click that and then click OK. And then um, double click on it to change the color to any color. And bring this down to the timeline and place it and make sure to have all equal length. And uh, once I have that, let's just uh, zoom in back. And uh, since I already already created some little nice circle here in my custom effects, if you don't know how to do that, we have a video here on how to create custom effects. So you can do that. So just go in here and I have my circle here. I can apply that and to my clip. So I have this nice little uh, circle here, but I want to place this right here and increase the size a little bit. So just grab onto this handles here. It makes it to have a nice little circle like this. Okay, so once we have that, now I want to create the text. So this circle has to come in, but first let's create a text. Uh, the text is 50% off. Okay, and then create the text. And now let's um, bring in the text and place it on this track here. Increase the length to be equal to the others. And now once we have that, uh, let's um, create this other, this color clip here as well. So let's do that, uh, create that. I think we're gonna duplicate this one here. So let's just right click and, uh, and duplicate that. Uh, make sure you have to know that uh, when we duplicate a clip here, we are just duplicating the original clip. Anything that we do here does not apply to that. But when we do a copy, uh, clip from here, we are copying everything that's including the effects that we apply to our clip as well. So once we have that, let's bring this copy clip down here and place it here. And now I want to use the crop by padding here. So that's the crop by padding. And uh, just um, using the radius here, I can reduce it like that. And uh, maybe I have to change the color. No, just leave it like this. And then bring this one all the way in and I want to uh, zoom out like that so I can see nicely there. So place it something like this. And now once I have this, I want to bring this right to the where the sneaker is so that it can be behind the sneaker. So with that, uh, we can look at all the clip here. So simply shift, shift and hold and uh, bring it down to where the sneaker is. Select that and just bring it one space up and then uh, holding on to this clip here and just placing it underneath here. Okay, so this is what we have now. At the same time, I want to apply the gradient effect to this. So let's um, select the Alpha Mast and King and apply the gradient. And uh, we'll just change this one over. So in the gradient property, just uh, apply subtract from here. So it's kind of like having this kind of save here. It doesn't look nice for me, but um, I think this is much better. Okay, so once we have that, now let's animate this uh, X, the circle here and the big one here as well. Okay, let's do that. So let's go to the last circle that we added, which is the, the shoe here, which the last animation we did it. So let's select the sneaker and um, you can see the that's where we have the last playhead there, uh, last um, any keyframe for the animation. So from there, uh, we're going to select the color clip here. And OK, now so we want to animate this. So we already add the crop by padding. Um, we can use the X value here to hide the crop like that, just like this. So until you hide everything behind here and then select the sneaker, which is was the last keyframe that we add. A uh, sneaker have two keyframes. So we want both of them. When the sneaker come in here, the um, big circle comes in here. So let's select the color clip here and then add the keyframe. I select the sneaker and add the, select the other keyframe here and then select the color clip again and then add your keyframe and change this value. Make sure from the X, just grab and grab the uh, this one back in again like this. 
something like that or maybe i want to change this to yellow so let's just um, double click on it and get the color picker here and simply click like that and then click ok and uh, i think that's it okay so once we have that uh, let's select the little circle color clip here which is this one after the keyframe of the color a yellow color clip here once it comes to resting uh, what we can do uh, we can select this keyframe and then select the little red color clip here the circle here and uh, make sure before adding a keyframe make sure to just uh, hide this one somewhere there like that and um, now let's uh, add a keyframe here and then move a little bit in like that and use again the x value here to bring back a little safe back into place like that and then select the text add a transform to it so let's go to transform from the x uh, from the x value simply go on this side to hide the text like that and then uh, add a keyframe just move a little bit in like this and add another keyframe change the value to zero okay so we have animated uh, this uh, yellow one here we have animated the red one and also the text now we want the text and this yellow to move up here while another text comes in here that is what we will do now so to do that um, let's uh, select the yellow clip here and uh, move the little bit up somewhere here to make it uh, something like that and then select the red color clip something like that also select the text clip there and then move somewhere like this select the color clip add and then simply grab from here up like that and then from the size here simply grab decrease the size like that make sure to make it back again to something good like this and simply place it in here and select the text clip at the keyframe again and in the size take it down to 70 and bring the text right inside here and this is where our new text coming in here so what we can do create the new text and now we can type in here okay so that's what i want to have it in the text and then update this and uh, create that and let's just bring this before we do that let's add a um, few more uh, track from here and just uh, insert this above like adding homo tracks and now let's bring this and next up to make the link equal to this other one here and uh, kind of the text is coming out here so what i want to do is to double uh, click on it and then i didn't see that so i have to bring this back in again like that okay something like this and now we can animate this text so to animate the text select the uh, clip of the last text that we have which is this one here and then uh, just move a little bit back in like this select the text and now let's apply the transform now first of all let's hide this text uh, somewhere here so from the x just grab it and uh, moving in like that and then add your keyframe move the playhead something like this and then add another keyframe and change the value to zero okay so so far this is what we have Okay, so this is the end of this video and uh, what's the next part here?